Millie, Millie, Millie. She my girlfriend, she my bro. Come flex with the real nigga, I'm the boss. Hello, hello, interlovers. Channel, subscribers, my fellow people, my fellow YouTubers, and everybody who loves me. Thank you so much for clicking. My name is African Princess Rams. I'm a YouTuber based in the beautiful city of Kasane, Botswana, you guys. If you watched my previous video, I told you guys that I'm still not well, but I'm still coping. So this one, I'm doing it to my fellow Nigerians who are staying in Botswana, who are staying in foreign countries. This is a word from me to you because I, there's so many rumors that are going on that Nigerians are, are practicing cults in our country, Botswana. Botswana is a very peaceful country. It's a very welcoming country. We love everybody the way they are. We don't, we don't discriminate. We don't stigmatize. We don't beat everybody. Even if there's a fault in our country, we, we, we practice what you call it. So you guys, this is a concern from a citizen who loves her country. So the the, the first thing first, there were the like maybe in the years of 2008, 2009, when I was still schooling, there was this rumors that there were some I'm not going to say all Nigerians because I have very respectful loving caring nigerians that i know and i i believe in every country there's somebody who can be an intruder even in a, a family setup there's somebody who can be an intruder so this is my word to those intruders who are tarnishing nigerian name nigerian flags in different countries by doing what is not good in 2008 when i was schooling at varsity there was this there were this group of nigerians who came into botswana they will be sleeping around with different small youth after they do that they will give them random money like huge amount of money and tell them to go and buy their coffins this is what was happening after they sleep with you they will you will have to suffer a very long time it a terrible time before you die because they were alleged to be inserting some i don't know if youtube is going to cut off my weights but they were alleged to be putting you some what is this should i call it millipede or something in your in your private parts after that those things have to feed on you feed on you until you die 2010 14 around that time they started again those fellow nigeria i don't know if they are they, those things they are for rituals or what or cults that like like they told they call it in nigeria they will be coming to Botswana by torturing Botswana, kidnapping and and doing all sorts of things here but fortunately, our security here is very high. Most of them were, were, were be able to be captured by the security. The other time, there was a, a guy from Nigeria. He came here. He killed three people. The girlfriend that he was staying with, the mother of the girlfriend, the uncle of the boyfriend. Then he flew to, to South Africa. I don't know if that case is still on or is pending because here in Botswana most times if there is murder involved you are going to be you are going to be so it takes time for those kind of cases to to come to conclusion because they don't want to do this to somebody who is innocent so it takes time I'm hoping that those people are going to get that are going to get justice over that person because he hey, whether you are you are a white or what 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 if you kill somebody intentionally if you do something intentionally and you kill somebody brutally and intentionally the only way they're going to do it they're going to do this to you yes that here we, we do this 
yeah and this one is very very new that one, that is the one that is waking me to to, to say this in block five in Kaburun. some i'm still going to say some there are some nigerian men who are who came here to practice cults on kids they target small individual youth those people that don't know how don't not us because as we are grown up we know money cannot buy me happiness what what but the youth they still believe in enjoyment they still believe in money they they, they see everything as smooth that is comes they will take your um, they, they maybe for for you they go with them in after an uh, maybe after an agreement because i heard they, they it's an agreement they take them to some some resort in kalahari central Keiji, central kalahari game reserve their site then they will do whatever they want to do with them change them the way they want to change them after doing that they they give them money again mm, Oga, stop this to our kids you are kidding us. and the moment the kids start get home they will start to see a lot of bleeding 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 after bleeding the bleed the, the bleeding start to be green and if you don't find hell before it it gets out of hand then you're gonna die so this is just my message to everybody who is coming into a different country if you come to a different country with such kind of behavior know that everybody every country have their laws and regulation that govern that their country so in Botswana if you are going to do that and you think they're going to spare you because if you 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 are tarnishing the youth if you are killing the youth we know youth like money they like money kids stop liking money like you are doing men stop taking advantage of the vulnerable kids that are go, are going to university and not being paid much they are just any living allowance so you guys will be giving them money to to make them do certain things that even if in the right form mind they won't do it so please this is a plea from me to you guys that you are tarnishing our future you are tarnishing our next generations if you are if it's allowed in your country to do cars and to do rituals don't come and do it in other people's in other people's countries you are destroying us in Botswana, yes we yes there is no country that is perfect but let us handle our own and you guys can handle your own if you know that you are not coming in a, a foreign country with good intentions why not stay in your country and enjoy that in your country imagine being for something that that you you, you you would have not been in your country. I don't want to say it because I don't want white you to, to, to think that I'm um like why do you why don't you just stay in your country, do it peacefully if it's you know you'll do it peacefully. Because here if they catch you, if they catch you and they know that you have done it and they know how many people have done that to them and how many death you have caused your only solution will be to put a ring on your on your neck you will be gone your future will be gone people that love you they will start hearing from newspapers that you have been in Botswana in Botswana you are white you are what so thank you so much for this video i've been trying to to and to my fellow Botswana, stop liking money. Yes, you know, Oga got money. Oga can change your life. But don't just jump in everything. Every man is not the same. Even men from this, our country, they are not the same. Be careful. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys in my next one. I have to go and bath. But I had to do this video.